This is not a review on Olive Editor, or anything such. This is a video specifically made for the current Caden Live users. I'm just going to show you something pretty simple. But it would be enough to realize the distance of the two programs. The first thing to notice, is that Olive is hugely inspired from Adobe. It is kinda hybrid between Premiere and After Effects. It is not After Effects, but it is definitely more advanced than Premiere. So, let's create a new composition, that Olive calls a sequence. Then, Olive will ask us to set the frames from the very start, rather on export. I haven't worked a lot yet with it, but I imagine we can have different frame rates on the same project. So, let's add a solid, and do some work on it. You already see the difference with Kaden Live background clips. Olive doesn't keep backgrounds on Project Bin. Something that drives me nuts on Kaden Live. Moreover, Olive has many motion properties, that we can easily keyframe. On Kaden Live we need to use a Compose clip for that, which is another super annoying thing, and even less powerful. So, let's keyframe our solid's color, from a horror grey, to a cute pink. A very basic effect, but good luck doing that on Caden Live. I'm duplicating the solid, by holding down Alt, and drag, similar to Adobe. Then I'm gonna remove the color effect, and add a slider motion to the new solid. Something frustrating on Olive's keyframes, is that we cannot do mathematical operations directly from the input. For example, I want to multiply to 3, but I can't. Anyway, we now have a sliding effect, that I'm going to use for revealing Rika. Oops, I didn't mean to move the anchor point, but since I did, all of even his anchors, for some more advanced motion graphics. And by the way, we can move layers directly from the preview screen, although that isn't working very nice. You see, it comes a time that you have to compare between open source projects, and you have to be honest. So quite honestly, there is nothing to compare here. Caden Live has been developed completely wrong, and Olive with much shorter time life, can already do much more, because it has been designed correctly from the ground. And even if I go very bitchy and cynical, I'll still say, Olive is a great project, and many congratulations to Olive's developers. Another thing that Caden Live screws up, is text. Similar to background clips, it add the text clips to the bin for a god knows why. Olive on the other side, has almost after effects capabilities. Okay, I nailed it. But anyway, text in Olive is pretty strong and fast to add. Basically is what I said in the beginning. Olive is a mix of video editor and compositor, at the same time. Yet another advantage of Olive against Caden Live, is the previewer performance. I don't know the technical details, but it feels quite faster. Anyway, let's add some fade out to our text, for more coolness. By the way, I don't show keyframes operations in graph editor, but it is another part that Olive is doing a fantastic job. Maybe, I will do another video on that. So, we are pretty much done. Or almost done because I also want to show you the nested compositions. We select the layers we want to pre-compose, and then we right click to open the menu, and we press nest. That will create a new composition, that includes all our layers. That not only helps on organizing our timeline, but it is mostly useful to apply global effects, which reminds me, that Olive is missing adjustment layers, and I really hope that will come in the future. You also see in a bug, on Precompose that goes black. That gives me the chance, to highlight another thing I prefer on Olive in comparison to Caden Live. Olive's source code is on GitHub, and that makes it much much easier to open bugs, 
and follow development progress. Besides, Olive is still on alpha version, but it already does a lot. My final suggestion is go get Olive from Flathub, and give it a try.